Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wednesday evening worship service. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I miss you guys so, so very much. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so thankful. Amen. I am so thankful for rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I'm so thankful that, that we are one. Amen. That we are one. Do this with me. Amen. Praise God. Isn't it amazing that just like as I stand here before you, I am one as far as in my spirit, soul, and body. Amen. And that is who our God is. Who, who we call, say with me, agape. Amen. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And I, I'm just so thankful for how Holy Spirit's presence blesses us. Amen. With his peace that overwhelms us, overflows within us. Amen. Listen, it doesn't take a preacher, it doesn't take a TV evangelist, or it doesn't take any of that. Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Lord, Je Say his name with me, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is the one that made all this possible. Glory to God, that we can freely, hallelujah, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and for all of eternity, for all of eternity, hallelujah, to have this intimacy with God Almighty, amen, with our Father, praise God. And I'm so excited as far as in this worship service because we are actually going to go through the Lord's Prayer, amen. And praise God, for those of you who don't know, on Tuesday evenings in our worship services, we have I Am Recovered. And in I Am Recovered worship service, we always start off with the Lord's Prayer. And it is what Holy Spirit has asked us to do as we launched out I Am Recovered, not only here locally, amen, glory to God, but worldwide, amen. And once again, this is all for the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ and the anointing presence of Holy Spirit flowing, amen, through His Holy Church, amen, for agape, amen, to glorify the Father through the Son and through Holy Spirit to bless Heavenly Father, amen. Who is agape? Say it with me, Father, Son. Holy Spirit. Amen. And it's in this oneness, in this peace, in this unity that God right now is preparing His beloved church, His holy church, for the rapture of His glorious coming when that trumpet sounds. Amen. Now many people ask, when is it going to take place? Well, it's going to be any time now. Praise God. Any time now. Everything, has, everything is being fulfilled as we're living day by day. Any time now. Glory to God. Any time. So how are you prepared? Being blameless. How are you blameless? Lord Jesus Christ. Bottom line, Lord Jesus Christ. And it's as you lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and surrender to the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit now, His presence, His anointing, God Almighty in you and in me, will start flowing through our lives. Amen. And how He starts first within the Holy of Holies is He renews our mind through repentance, amen? That we begin, we begin repenting for all the things of the past, hallelujah, and in the past is in the past, dead and gone, amen? And the glory of God is in true repentance, when we repent and we ask God for forgiveness and we receive Jesus Christ as Lord, the anointing of God is, is that now you, now myself, in a relationship with God the Father, He has this intimacy with us where he's speaking to us we're not, only, we're not we're not only reading the written word of God and going through the scriptures we are now going through guidance of the one who wrote it the one who spoke it Lord Jesus Christ and the one who's doing it Holy Spirit as we read and God now speaks through us he flows through us amen and glory to God what a perfect worship service a perfect title and a perfect scripture to go through other than the Lord's Prayer as we get intimate with the Lord Jesus Christ and allow Holy Spirit's anointing to teach us on this glorious new day. Amen. Are you ready? Praise God. I'm ready. Hallelujah. Say amen with me. Amen. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word that you spoke your word, Father God, and we did not listen. We didn't, Father. And I thank you, Father God, that you spoke your word and your word became flesh through your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you are the word of God. And that you're the same, Lord Jesus Christ, yesterday, today, and forever. 
And Lord Jesus Christ, as we plead your holy and precious blood because we belong to you, we are your property, we are your beloved children for all of eternity, covered by your blood. That Lord Jesus Christ, as we bring glory and honor to your name, we praise you, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Holy Spirit, that you are our advocate, our comforter, that you live within us, that you have sealed us for all of eternity. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence and your wisdom. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power that only comes through your holy presence. And Father God, we ask you right now to teach us through your wisdom in Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we go through no man. We don't give any man glory. We only go through you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you have all the glory, honor, and praise. And we ask you, Father God, as we, in complete submission and believing, Father God, that Jesus Christ is perfect, he is the Messiah, he is your perfect sacrifice, in believing, Father, that as we go through the, our Lord Jesus Christ's prayer and how he taught us, the Holy Spirit, these words that was written on paper in your holy Bible, in your holy word, that you would make it alive in all of us, Father. Teach us, O Lord. Teach us, speak to us, O Lord. And above all, Father, through the power of your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing of your Holy Spirit, change me, O Lord. And it's in Jesus Christ's name I pray, and all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys, praise God, hallelujah. So as we discussed earlier, we're going to be in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. And let's say the Lord's Prayer, and then glory to God, we're going to go over whatever Holy Spirit wants us to, and praise God, and I'm just so excited, amen? Verse 9, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Amen. For God has the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb. Who is the Lamb of God? The perfect Lamb, the perfect sacrifice. You beat me to it, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's get into this. Praise God. Notice first and foremost how Lord Jesus Christ, agape, taught us to pray, is immediately, right off the bat, immediately, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God, you are holy. You are holy. You have the name above every name. There is power in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I love that when you start off right away, the very moment you open your eyes in the morning, Amen? See, we don't wake up intentionally, right? That's why God says, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about this or that. Just, you know, the worries of this world, that's all it is. It just wants to distract you from the glory of God. And, and God says, you just be concerned about blessing Lord Jesus Christ, about the will of of God. What is the will of God? Being thankful in all things. Amen. So the glory of God to start off. How many of you want to start off with God's glory? Right? First thing in the morning. Amen. Or like I said, if you were just awakened in the middle of the night, let's listen. Nothing just happens by accident. Rebuke that. You are divinely woken up at that moment. I don't care what happened. Whether the dog barked or something fell off the shelf or a dream, whatever it is, you're divinely orchestrated by God Almighty to open your eyes so that you can be blessed with God's glory. How do you bless God's glory? I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are holy. You are the masterpiece. You are my master, my God, my Lord, my Savior. You are God of salvation, and the God of peace lives in me for all of eternity. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Amen. Say it with me, he is holy. Hallelujah. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Hallelujah. The beauty of this is how Lord Jesus Christ teaches us. You could just see it right now. How Lord Jesus Christ was speaking. God himself was speaking this prayer. And he said, your kingdom come, your will be done. And the glory of God is the kingdom of heaven already came at that moment 
when Lord Jesus Christ was teaching his disciples and anyone who had ears to hear, right, how to pray. Because the kingdom of heaven was here on earth. Amen? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And the glory of God is how Lord Jesus Christ would right away say, He is holy. Agape is holy. My name, Lord Jesus Christ, is holy. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Holy. Holy Spirit. Amen? And when you have this manifestation of His presence within your life, here's Lord Jesus Christ. You could just picture Him, right? Just sitting there with all His disciples saying, Your kingdom come, Your will be done. And this is Lord Jesus Christ saying, here I am. Amen. Can you say that with me, beloved church family? Here I am. Say it like you're saying it to the Father. And you know he lives on the inside. Here I am. And the glory of God is, he's saying, your kingdom come, your will be done. Now what is, how, how is God's will be done? It's through the relationship that we have with our Heavenly Father. In worship and in obedience that God knows that I could speak to you. Because you trust me. That you don't look at the waves, you don't look at the situations, you don't look at the circumstances, you look at me. And Lord Jesus Christ says, because you look at me, I know my will will be done because you have received the kingdom. You have received the kingdom. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And my will will be done through you. And let's continue on. On earth as it is in heaven. And this is the greater works that Lord Jesus Christ has deposited in the new covenant church, covered by his holy blood. Hallelujah. Paid for in full through Father God. That Holy Spirit's will will be done through you and, and in me on this earth, on this fallen earth. Why? Because his light shines through you and me. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. On earth as it is in heaven. Verse 11. Give us today our daily bread. Hallelujah. And you know that the daily bread is the bread of life, Lord Jesus Christ. Give us today our daily bread. Hallelujah. Just say it with me. Give me Jesus. Amen. Now, for those of you, of course, who have received Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you are sealed by his blood. Amen. You are sealed by, you're saved. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit has you. But this is the glory of God now. It's through his light and his anointing that shines through you and in me as beloved children of God that now we can show the glory of God and we can encourage souls that are either disobedient or going through a, a tough season to have more bread. Amen? To give them the bread of life through showing them the love of our Heavenly Father. Amen? See, the glory of God is, is that you, wherever you go, He has divinely orchestrated your steps. Meaning that wherever you go in worship, in obedience to God Almighty, that the bread of life, Lord Jesus Christ himself, has gone before you. And all God is asking of you is to step out in faith, in obedience to Lord Jesus Christ. He is our faith now, amen? And the power and anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me, he will accomplish the perfect work as you take each and every step. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. And in verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we also... As, say it with me, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Remember, unforgiveness is the thing that the devil wants for you to hold on to. Because it's in the free will, I pray in Jesus' name, that you rebuke that, that you don't touch it. But God give us all free will. And the devil, Satan himself, is hoping that you harbor unforgiveness because God has nothing to do with that. See, the devil is hoping that you would do something to hurt Holy Spirit and hold on to that because the devil knows that when you harbor unforgiveness, it causes separation. It causes pride. It causes, it manifests into idolatry, selfishness, lust, greed, anger, bitterness, grumbling, complaining, crunchy, right? Say with me, no more in Jesus' name. Do that with me. No more in Jesus' name. God knows what you're doing. Hallelujah. You're rebuking Satan. Hallelujah. All of heaven right now. Glory to God. Can you see it? All of heaven right now. All his angels right now. Glory to God. See, there's many of you that when you heard that, now you're like, okay, I get it. I get it. 
Hallelujah. I want all of heaven fighting for me and pushing darkness far away from me in Jesus' name. Amen. And notice how Holy Spirit wanted to, wanted to say it louder as far as as we. Right? As we. Because remember, in verse 12 says, forgive us. See, we're asking God for, to forgive our trespasses. We're asking God, Father God, why, we're asking God. Amen? Even though we know that we're forgiven through Christ our Lord, everything is paid for. Amen? Remember, say it with me, relationship. This is a relationship that we have with our Heavenly Father. Amen? Daddy. Amen? Abba. Oh, my God loves me so much. He gave me Lord Jesus Christ, and I received you fully, Lord. And I know, Holy Spirit, you're, my, you're in my every breath. You're in every cell, every hair on this body. Hallelujah. You, 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 this is all yours. I am born again. I am, I am yours, Father God. And it's in this that God knows that when we do wrong, when we do wrong, Holy Spirit in us convicts us. See, the devil condemns. The Holy Spirit convicts us as beloved children of God saying, repent. And it's in this repentance that we say, Father, forgive me for I did somebody wrong. Forgive me, Father God. But notice what happens. It's in this same breath. It's in this same word that as we're asking God for forgiveness, Heavenly Father knows that we are forgiven because he gave us Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit has sealed us with that eternal re redemption. Amen. That eternal restoration to come, right? To bounce back, amen? But the only way the, the bounce back takes place, that, that reaction takes place in, in, in being flooded with the mercy and grace and the forgiveness of God is as we also have forgiven. Notice the relationship that takes place in the intimacy with God our Father. That it's not just a matter of saying, oh, Father, God, forgive me, forgive me. Oh, I know I'm forgiven. Jesus Christ is Lord. No. In a relationship with agape, Father, I forgive all those that hurt me. Father God, I, I harbor nothing against anybody. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you revealed to me that I hardened my heart. And Father, thank you. I don't want none of that darkness. Rebuke it, that your light shines through me. And it's in this exchange, in this relationship. Say it again, relationship. It's in this relationship. Yeah, we call it worship, amen, prayer, hallelujah, whatever it is that Holy Spirit, hallelujah, will manifest his fruit, amen, his fruit. Is his peace. Praise God. Verse 13. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And don't you love that? In that relationship with God Almighty, in that relationship, Holy Spirit will guide your steps. And he'll lay it before you. And glory to God. It's in this relationship, in the anointing, in blessing Holy Spirit, that his light exposes everything. And as God's light shines through you, we call agape. As agape shines before you, he will expose every foul thing. And the glory of God is, is that he will show you, right? Because remember, the devil has no plan for your life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, the devil has no, uh, let me say that again and again. The devil has no plan for your life. God. God has the plan. He is God Almighty. All the devil does is has distractions. Throwing things. Trying to lay things before you. That's all he has is distractions. Trying to, trying to take you off your course. The power of agape, the power of our God, is he will expose. He will expose. He will say, son, daughter, look, step over that. It was meant, it was meant to trip you up. Step over Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Right? Some of you can't see, but I'm just stepping over, right? You step over things, right? And glory to God is in this relationship with God that He will protect you. His angels will go before you, pushing temptation far, far, far away from you, destroying the plots of the tempter. Remember, He is the devil. Satan himself is the tempter. 
And the glory of God is, is that when you live in worship, when you pray this way, this is why Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray this way. When you pray this way, knowing that God is holy, the Holy Father, the Holy Perfect Son, Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Sacrifice of God, the Holy Spirit of God who lives in you and in me. Hallelujah. Having that complete submission in believing that God is holy and that he orchestrates our steps. Praise God. That he, that he divinely orchestrates everything so that we overflow with his light. We overflow with his presence. Being able to love God first with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and allowing his presence to love one another. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. You receive that? Let's just give God praise, amen. Lead us not into temptation. Hallelujah. Once again, that's through your worship and intimacy with our Heavenly Father. And deliver us from the evil one. Praise God. And when we ask God to deliver us from the evil one, it's God, hallelujah, orchestrating our path and removing. Say that with me. Removing things that was going to harm us. Hallelujah. Cutting off the head of demons. Amen rebuking wolves in Jesus name hallelujah and just blessing you with his presence his Holy Spirit peace praise God I pray hallelujah and I know in Jesus name that God has blessed you in an overflow with a fresh anointing amen and I pray that we take the Lord's prayer and we put it into practice as far as agape taught us amen Lord Jesus Christ taught us this came from his mouth and how we pray to the Father amen and glory to God, it just gets gooder and gooder because Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of our Heavenly Father. Amen. And the power and anointing of His Holy Spirit makes us one in Him. Say that with me, in Him. And I just want to say thank you so much for your obedience to bless God the way you do and loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and loving one another. Amen. I love you so much, beloved church family. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Thank you for all of eternity. We thank you so, so much, Father God, beyond our words, for Lord Jesus Christ, your perfect sacrifice. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you saved us, that you left heaven to come to this fallen world, that you would die a horrible, excruciating death to carry all of our sins and take you to the pit of hell. And that you would save our soul from eternal damnation and place us in the heavenly realm with you for all of eternity. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are our seal for our eternal salvation in you. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence, for your light that shines through us for all of eternity. Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you send all your angels to minister to us, to fight for us. We thank you, Father God, that in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, that your presence pushes evil far, far, far away from us. And we thank you, Father God, that you've divinely orchestrated our steps to be a blessing to you first and to one another, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father God, for bringing in all the souls, Father, who want to worship you in spirit and truth, preparing us for the glorious day of the rapture. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you're coming back for us soon. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for preparing us. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you want to plant your seed, hallelujah, here at Open Arms Community Church, we encourage you to do so, and we thank you for that. Hallelujah. We thank God that he's blessing you with an abundance of seed to sow into the ministry. It's all his money. Amen. And thank you so much. Please go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com, and there on our website, you'll see an offering tab. You can give electronically, and it is secure. Praise God. And once again, God bless you a hundredfold in Jesus' name, in your obedience and cheerfulness in giving. Hallelujah. Love you so, so very much, beloved church family. We pray for you all every day. We thank God for your heart of worship, and Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Thank you so much for blessing God and protecting Holy Spirit peace in your life and being a blessing to God first. And once again, as Holy Spirit just said in our prayer, in our closing prayer, and just letting Holy Spirit love on every soul. Amen. Amen. 
Love you so much, beloved church family. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, beloved church family. See you in the next half an hour. Mwah.